Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths, as seen at Legacy.com, the third week of June, 2021. Actor Ned Beatty died June 13, 2021, at his home in Los Angeles at the age of 83. He had unforgettable roles in movies like Superman and Deliverance, and he earned an Oscar nomination for his performance in Network. Beatty is being remembered as a prolific character actor who we loved in movies like Toy Story 3 and TV shows like Homicide, Life on the Street. One mourner on Legacy.com called him one of the greatest screen actors ever. Actor John Gabriel died in June 2021 at the age of 90. He's best known for starring as Dr. Seneca Bolak in the classic soap opera Ryan's Hope. Gabriel is also being remembered for roles in TV shows like General Hospital, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, and Days of Our Lives. Baseball player Jim Mudcat Grant died June 11, 2021, in Los Angeles at the age of 85. In 1965, while he was pitching for the Minnesota Twins, he became the first black pitcher to win 20 games in a season in the American League. Grant was also the first black pitcher in the American League to win a World Series game as the Twins played the Los Angeles Dodgers. One mourner on Legacy.com remembered following his career. As a kid growing up in Akron, I like to pretend I was Mudcat by double tapping my foot on the rubber when I pitched. Jim Grant was a quality major league pitcher and a great role model as well. Thanks for the memories. Civil rights activist Martha White died June 5, 2021, at a nursing home in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, at the age of 99. When she refused to yield her seat on a segregated bus in 1953, she sparked a citywide bus boycott in Baton Rouge. She is being remembered for influencing the more famous Montgomery bus boycott, which Rosa Parks started two and a half years later. Actress Lisa Baines died June 14, 2021, at Mount Sinai Morningside Hospital in New York City. She died following a traffic accident at the age of 65. She had memorable roles in the movies Gone Girl and Cocktail, as well as in TV shows like The King of Queens, Six Feet Under, and Nashville. Baines is also being remembered for her work in live theater, including on Broadway. Race car driver Bobby Unser Jr. died June 13, 2021, of blood clots following surgery for a broken hip at the age of 65. He was the son of racing legend Bobby Unser, and he also had a successful racing career before becoming a stunt driver in movies and TV shows like Walker, Texas Ranger. One mourner on Legacy.com said, Sorry to hear this about Bobby Jr., I remember him when we were very young, sitting in Bobby Sr. and Big Al's race cars at Unser Auto Parts. He will be missed. R.I.P., my friend. Scientist Eiichi Nagishi died June 6, 2021, at a hospital in Indianapolis at the age of 85. He won the 2010 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work creating organic molecules. It paved the way for new drugs like Aleve 
and for the technology for OLED flat screen TVs. Nagishi is also being remembered as a longtime professor at Purdue University. Author Lucinda Riley died June 11, 2021, of cancer at the age of 55. She wrote historical fiction, including her popular series, The Seven Sisters. She had just published the seventh book in the series, The Missing Sister, less than two months before her death. One mourner on Legacy.com remembered her. Such sad news. Lucinda was the most amazing author. I have read many books in my life. Lucinda was the most captivating of writers. She took me to the most wonderful places in The Seven Sisters. Federal Judge Jack B. Weinstein died June 15, 2021, at his home in Great Neck, New York, at the age of 99. He presided over notable cases, like a class action suit against the manufacturers of Agent Orange. He is being remembered for his passion for civil rights and justice. Weinstein was a U.S. Navy veteran of World War II. He served as a lieutenant in the Pacific Theater. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Alaska have been lowered to honor the memory of Tom Fink, the former mayor of Anchorage. Flags in Wyoming and Montana and at USDA facilities have been lowered to honor the memory of wildland firefighter Tim Hart. Flags in California have been lowered to honor the memory of Susanville Police Department Officer Ryan Barham. Flags in Wisconsin have been lowered to honor the memory of Boscobel firefighter Joshua D. Feedy. Flags in Indiana have been lowered to honor the memory of David Dave Lee Miller, former mayor of Elkhart. Flags in Florida have been lowered in honor of Pulse Remembrance Day. Flags in Iowa have been lowered to honor the memory of Army Corporal Eldert J. Beek. Flags in Minnesota have been lowered to honor the memory of paramedic Troy Betcher. Flags in Pennsylvania have been lowered to honor the memory of Department of Transportation employee Timothy Fitch. Flags in Illinois have been lowered in honor of Juneteenth National Freedom Day. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.